Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well. You amazing, amazing, beautiful, wonderful people. You're looking amazing. You are amazing. Thank you for being here. And this is a video that uh, I've kind of been waiting for the dust to settle a bit because it's not an easy video to have to discuss. And I'm going to keep it kind of brief. I'm not going to go into so much of the the politics of it, if you like, but obviously we've got to touch on it because what started out as the tragedy it was has escalated into something completely different. And uh, uh, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. It's, it's just... It's... <laughs> anyway... So we have this situation that started two days ago in Southport. You've got some children, they're attending a dance class, they're dancing, and this 17-year-old lad goes into this, this place and attacks people, attacks the children, attacks the people who are trying to protect the children, and we now have several people who are critical. We have th th three of the children who have now, at the time of doing this video have now passed away and we have like i say this is this isn't over yet this isn't over and like i say i'm not going to go into the gruesome details there are people who are covering the gruesome details and you know it, it's it's not going to help us talking about that and there's going to be some people who will be upset by that so i don't i don't need to we know what happened if you've been following it you know what happened but what has caused it? What what has caused the initial attack to start with? And at this moment in time, the reality is we simply don't know. We know that there are things being pushed out. We know that there has been kind of fake news companies who have gone on to the likes of X, formerly known as Twitter. And not only have they put out a name but they have tried to connect it to, you know, illegal immigrants and, you know, the, the migration crisis and tried to blame that, which has then led on to a further catastrophe, which we're going to go through some pictures and some discussions on that in a second. But it, ultimately, we just don't know. I have been reached out to by um, someone who knows the family of the person who did this crime. Um, now, what do I want to know and what would I benefit from learning about them? I, I probably wouldn't benefit from knowing anything about them. C can you understand truly the mind of someone who can do this? And you find yourself always going to the same situation, don't you, with, with mental health. You talk about mental health epidemics, you know, this is... <sighs> I don't, I just don't know. I, don't, I just don't know. Are we talking about someone who was just not fucking right in the head and this is just where it exploded? I don't, I don't know. Maybe later on down the line, something will come out. But you find yourself thinking, I don't want to fall into that category of, of, of somebody who in a situation like this will turn around and say, oh, it's because of this or it's because of that. Um, this was missed, that was missed, this should have been done better, that should have been done better. But ultimately, because we are the public, we will be subjected to a version of events that somebody up on the higher rungs of the ladder will deem necessary and viable for us to be told in order to try and explain it. The question is, can we trust it? Do, do, we, do we trust what we're being told and who we're being told it by. And that's where this entire system is fucked because we no longer know who to trust. We no longer know who's telling the truth. We no longer know whether what we are being told is indeed accurate. We, again, will likely get a version of why this happened, but the reality is, will we know why it happened? But look... So again, we had the initial attack, absolutely tragic, 
and then it turns into this. <laughs> Violent clashes outside a mosque in Southport in the wake of yesterday's stabbing attack appear to have subsided with officers still on the scene. So this is like a reverse timeline um, that was done by Sky News who were following it. Um, and it went on from yesterday afternoon into the early hours of this morning. Merseyside police said the riot began when a large group of people believed to be supporters of the EDL threw items towards the mosque. Bottles, bricks and traffic cones were among the items thrown with police vehicles set alight, shop looted, officers injured in the chaos. Violence appears to be linked to the several false accusations spread online about the 17-year-old boy that has been arrested in relation to yesterday's attack at a Taylor Swift-themed holiday club. And there we go. We've got a um, some shots from what was actually going on. Um, here we go here. These are now the three confirmed um, victims of the, um, of the attack. Um, it says five of the children and two adults who were trying to protect them are still in a critical condition. Um, Elsie Dot, Stancombe, Alistair Silva, Aguiar, and um, BB King, Bebby King. The unnamed suspect was born in Wales, Merseyside. Police has said previously, but there have been false claims that he was an asylum seeker who had arrived in the UK by boat. And again, this was being pushed by false. Um, fake, I don't know, companies that look and appear to be proper news outlets, but they fucking ain't. And this is like what I was talking about yesterday. People have to be so careful about who they trust, who they listen to, who they accept as being the conduit to their news. And, and this is what happens. This is the absolute sort of pinnacle of when you listen to the wrong fucking people and how it spirals out of control. Here's a recap of the other major developments today. Nine-year-old Alice de Silva Aguilar died in hospital after being injured in the attack, making her the third child to be killed. On a hospital said two of the injured children were in a critical but stable condition. MP for Salford labelled the attack as the worst atrocity and living member to, memory to affect the area. Tributes continued to pour in from the local community with hundreds of people attending a vigil in the town. Taylor Swift responded to the attack saying she was completely in shock. Um, the Home Secretary visited the scene of the attack and condemned the violent thuggery that broke out this evening. And Prime Minister Keir Starmer also visited the area where he was confronted by a resident who asked how many more children. A man who stopped to help at the scene of the Stammers described locking eyes with the attacker. <sighs> but there we go. So this is what we have so far. Um, this is a press release to the Southport incident that says the mosques and the communities they serve across the Liverpool City region are shocked and horrified by the heinous acts of murder and indiscriminate violence committed against the young children and adults who attended the dance school in Southport yesterday. This is an attack against society, irrespective of faith or background. A minority of people are attempting to portray that this inhumane act is somehow related to the Muslim community. Frankly, it is not. And we must not let those who seek to divide us and spread hatred use this as an opportunity. This evening, we have been distressed, seen distressing scenes outside the Southport Mosque with angry protesters gathering outside. This is causing further fear and anxiety within our communities. We must all unite and stand together against all forms of hate, violence and division. We thank Merseyside Police, Metro Mayor Steve Rotherham and other political and community leaders for their outstanding response to this tragedy and their continued support for communities across the region during this difficult time. And yeah, what more can you say? What more can you say? Uh, it's like I briefly said yesterday, you know, my heart goes out to everybody affected with it. This is going to have a ripple effect that's going to go out far and wide. But, yet again, we see a situation that was tragic enough as it was, 
be manipulated and turned into something to further fuel the underlying tensions that are always there and they're just you know we just have all over the world just these little bonfires everywhere that have been pre-soaked in gasoline and waiting for some fucker to come along and just throw a match on and it's just it's that easy we will keep an eye and see what does come out officially to to try and explain but how are you ever going to explain this it's unexplainable um you know, I don't want to just go to the default mental health element here because, you know, it, it, it just seems the easiest thing to do, isn't it? Something happens like this and you automatically, mental health, mental health. And that's unfair to do that as well because, you know, there are people who suffer with mental health issues that do not ever do this kind of thing. You know, I for those of you who have been around the channel long enough, you will understand I've lost, you know, my, my parent through mental health issues and um i've lived with it my entire life um but something happened here something forced the hand or pushed the hand of this person to do this act at just 17 years old himself i'm done i'll catch you all in the next one